Hey everybody. So here, as promised, is the beginning of the boomerang phaser. Rick Berman specifically asked us to make a phaser with a curved handle. These are all three of the prototypes that were sent to Rick Berman for his approval. Now, what you see here is basically what looks to be a cut down cobra head phaser. As you can see, it has all the same details and everything else. It's just everything is definitely smaller. And as you can see, the different curvatures here. Um, so the one that was picked as being the, the boomerang phaser is between these two here. Each one of these was, uh, was handmade by Bear Burge and myself. All of the, the, the tips are all the same on all three units, which was also reduced in size. Um, most of the details are all the same within reason. Um, they don't want to go too far off track as far as the basic design. Um, so these were the designs that we came up with uh, and, and curved handles. When we got the word from Rick Berman to, to make these, there weren't any drawings because at that point uh, he was just trying to say, hey, can we do this? Can we not do this? And we said, yeah, we can do this. Let us give us a couple of days, which actually turned out to be like two days before he, he started calling us. So basically in two days, we did the three prototypes. Each one of them is uh, made a little differently. Not much though. This one is all resin. This one is resin up until you get to this point here. This is acrylic. This one is also acrylic here. And, and the, uh, you know, these, this is all resin from, from here up. This is resin. This is resin. But now people ask me, how do we make some of these grips? Well, there's different techniques for different applications depending on your, your uh, what size grip you want. You know, these are all half rounds here, or they appear to be half rounds. Um, this is something that I'll probably be doing a little bit of tutorial on, explaining how we made different types of grips and you get certain kind of textures on some of these props. I'll eventually be doing those tutorials, showing you some techniques and so on. I really like this one the best as far as the hand, you know, because as you're holding it in your hand, you can actually uh, aim at what you're trying to find. Uh, what, sorry, not find. What you're trying to shoot, you can actually aim at it and shoot it. But they didn't want to go that drastic with the curve. So as I said, it's somewhere in between these two here. The idea was when, when we did this one was, okay, well, we'll just kind of cut it down a little bit and make it more, you know, compact. And there really isn't a whole lot of difference between, well, there is difference, but there's not that much of a difference between the Cobra and that. Whereas this kind of, you know, took on its own thought here with a full grip all the way around it. Specifically, we were doing that because with this one, it's kind of like, technically speaking, is this a right-handed or a left-handed phaser because of this grip here? We wanted something that would be considered ambidextrous, left and right. You know, no, you don't have to worry about what hand you're trying to shoot with. The grip on that one is just the way the grip is. I don't, you know, there was one version that was the opposite. But as far as I recall, there was only one copy of that ever made. So, you know, as, as always, there, there's other information about these that would probably come up if I was actually sitting down talking and hearing questions about them. Um, if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll try and do my best to get to them and answer your questions. As I said, I will be doing some other videos on how we did grips and stuff like that. Please subscribe and like and share it with all your friends. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.